Welcome in MacGyver Engineering. Today, uh, autopsy of my um, engine, uh, starting engine from uh, Nissan D21. Um, uh, I had a problem uh, with a uh, battery, um, and uh, the lack of performance at start, I was blaming for the battery which was a wrong uh, assumption because um, the battery was uh, doing better after uh, repair and uh, the engine starting engine had a problem um, the issue was well maybe i will start from showing what i found after um, taking it apart um, on the photo you may see the initial state right now this is how it looks after i uh, straighten it up and um, i tried to assess possibility of uh, fixing it without uh, replacing but fortunately enough um, i found out that my uh, friend has uh, exactly the same starting motor from uh, a different uh, car and uh, we can just uh, replace it without uh, going into too much trouble with trying to fix it well what I would do is basically straighten it up and uh, put it back on the epoxy or something like that in that fashion uh, followed by uh, you know um, sanding of the of the fields and um, yeah that, so this is this is what was the effect of it what was the uh, cause of it uh, was uh, bad uh, brushes as you can see two of them they are not eaten out because of the failure mode they are eaten up because of the you know regular um, con consumption let's say <laughs> Uh, as you can see the inner parts are full of the black um, dust uh, from the carbon uh, brushes and uh, uh, what I think it was is that while it was giving a lot of trouble at the start it didn't come from the low battery it, it came from this fact that these two fields had very little contact with the um, commutator which in itself caused this part to overheat and the commutator as well and um, probably this one in effect got a little bit out uh, which caused in itself a greater consumption on the brushes and followed by a you know catastrophic failure mode when these connections over here actually started to melt the solder on the connection started to melt and one of those bits probably ended up between the brush and the commutator and uh, you know uh, uh, with the effect as you know it so I think this is uh, enough for this video um, well maybe w one more thing worth mentioning before that I had a big problem with this one it didn't catch the um, starter so when the starter was spinning you know and the uh, that probably was also a part of this um, effect over here because I had to start the motor multiple times to actually get this one to catch and push out and the way I fixed that about a half a year ago was basically to uh, place it in a big jar, plastic jar fill it, fill it up with a diesel and then I bolted the jar to a, a oscillating sander and I kept it sanding for about 15 minutes or so so it really got a good shake and it cleaned it up so well that really right now this is the part that um, come from the 
the one that I got for the replacement uh, because the, the the one that I fixed actually is back in the car and it uh, works uh, since then uh, flawlessly so that's it have a good day more videos coming soon